Welcome to Red Tech Channel, a new way to learn. In this video, I am going to discuss about screen film radiography and including topics like cassettes, intensifying screen and X-ray film. Screen film radiography is a diagnostic imaging technique that uses X-rays to produce images of the internal structures of the body. In this technique, a patient is exposed to X-rays, which pass through the body and are captured by a film that is coated with a special material called a screen. The screen converts the X-ray energy into visible light, which exposes the film and produces an image. Screen film radiography is used in a variety of medical applications, including detecting bone fractures, diagnosing lung diseases, and identifying abnormalities in the digestive system. The images produced by screen film radiography are typically black and white, and they can be used to detect a wide range of medical conditions. One of the advantages of screen film radiography is that it is relatively inexpensive compared to other imaging techniques, such as computed tomography, CT, or magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. However, it does involve exposure to ionizing radiation, which can be harmful if used excessively or without proper precautions. Overall, screen film radiography is a valuable tool in the diagnosis and treatment of many medical conditions, and it is often used in conjunction with other imaging techniques to provide a comprehensive view of the patient's condition. In radiography, a cassette is a device that holds the film or imaging plate used to capture X-ray images. The cassette helps to protect the film or imaging plate from damage and also helps to ensure that the image is properly exposed. There are different types of cassettes that are used in radiography, including 1. Film cassettes. These cassettes are designed to hold photographic film, which is coated with a light-sensitive emulsion. When exposed to X-rays, the film captures the image, which can then be developed and viewed. 2. Computed radiography CR, cassettes. These cassettes are used with a type of digital imaging plate that is sensitive to X-rays, after the plate is exposed, it is processed in a CR reader, which digitizes the image and allows it to be viewed on a computer screen. 3. Digital Radiography doctor, Cassettes These cassettes are similar to CR cassettes but use a different type of digital imaging plate that is read directly by a digital detector. Doctor cassettes provide high-quality digital images that can be viewed immediately after exposure. 4. Portable Cassettes these cassettes are designed to be lightweight and portable, making them ideal for use in mobile X-ray units or in the field. They are available in both film and digital formats. Cassettes are an important component of radiography, as they help to ensure that the image is properly exposed and protected from damage. The choice of cassette type depends on the specific imaging needs, the equipment being used, and the desired image quality. Intensifying screens are a key component of film-based radiography. They are used in combination with X-ray film to improve the efficiency of X-ray image formation by converting X-rays into visible light that can then expose the film. Intensifying screens consist of a layer of phosphor material that emits visible light when struck by X-rays. When X-rays pass through the body and interact with the intensifying screen, the screen emits light that exposes the film placed behind it. This allows the X-ray image to be captured more quickly and with less exposure to radiation, compared to using film alone. There are two main types of intensifying screens used in radiography, calcium tungstate and rare earth. Calcium tungstate screens are made of calcium tungstate phosphors and are relatively low in efficiency. Rare earth screens, on the other hand, are made of various rare earth elements such as gadolinium, lanthanum, or yttrium, and are much more efficient at converting X-rays into visible light. The use of intensifying screens has several benefits, including reducing patient exposure to radiation, improving image quality, and decreasing the amount of time needed to acquire a diagnostic image. They are widely used in a variety of radiography applications, including medical imaging, industrial radiography, and non-destructive testing. It is important to note that the quality of the intensifying screen can affect the quality of the image produced. A worn or damaged screen can result in decreased image quality and increased patient exposure to radiation. For this reason, it is important to regularly inspect and replace intensifying screens as needed. 
X-ray film is a type of photographic film that is used to capture X-ray images in radiography. X-ray film typically consists of a plastic base coated with a layer of light-sensitive emulsion that is responsive to X-ray radiation. There are several types of X-ray film that are used in radiography, including 1. Blue sensitive film. This type of film is sensitive to blue light and is used with blue emitting intensifying screens. 2. Green sensitive film. This type of film is sensitive to green light and is used with green emitting intensifying screens. 3. Half speed film. This type of film is designed to be used with intensifying screens that emit both blue and green light. It is less sensitive than blue or green sensitive film, but it can produce higher quality images. 4. Double emulsion film. This type of film has two layers of emulsion, one on each side of the film base. It is used with special types of intensifying screens to produce high-resolution images. 5. Dental film. This type of film is designed for use in dental X-ray applications. It is typically smaller in size than standard X-ray film and may have a thinner base. 6. Mammography film. This type of film is designed for use in mammography, a specialized type of X-ray imaging used to detect breast cancer. It is highly sensitive to low levels of X-ray radiation and produces high contrast images. X-ray film is a critical component of radiography, as it captures the X-ray image for further analysis and diagnosis. The choice of film type depends on the specific imaging needs, the type of X-ray equipment being used, and the desired image quality. That's all for this video I hope you clear out all the points. Do subscribe if you like and thanks for listening.